Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Mitchell and I'm here with Steven and Tommy and today we're kind of in a, a weird location. It is a dark and stormy <laughs> night and today we're doing a long exposure photography battle. Recently, we actually picked up three Sony a7S 3s and if you know anything about Sony and especially the a7S 3 is that they are remarkably good at low light. So we thought this would be a perfect opportunity to really test out the low light of these cameras and kind of put them to the test. The way that these battles work is that we all have two hours to go and get the best two photos we possibly can. So you can do whatever you want with your time. You can go home, sit on the couch and do absolutely nothing, or you can actually hit the pavement, get out there and take some banging shots. At the end of the two hours, we all regroup right here back at this street lamp that we're underneath. <laughs> and if you aren't back in two hours, then you are disqualified. Doesn't matter what photos you got, they are out, they do not count. And because this is a long exposure photography battle, this means that all your photos have to have some sort of element of long exposure with them. Right now, it is currently 7 p.m. So we have to be back here by 9 p.m. at the latest. And it starts in three, two, one, let's go. And we're off. <laughs> Okay, everything is in the car. Okay, so I know that Steven and Tommy are going outside for their photos. I have a little trick up my sleeve. I think what I'm gonna do is actually stick to indoors. And uh, I think I've got a pretty cool idea that involves long exposure and maybe a little bit of product photography. So it should be pretty neat. So for my plan, I'm gonna try and take three photos for this one. They're all gonna be in this forest behind me here. Um, one of them's gonna be a nice snowy path through the trees. Another one's gonna be of this mountain peak and the sky. And the third one's gonna be a view overlooking the city. Let's get going. Okay, so I've made it to my shooting location. It is pitch black. I'm actually shooting at ISO 80,000 right now. So it's probably gonna be very grainy. So for my idea, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take this table right here and kind of set it up with a black backdrop and do some long exposure photography but have like light streaks that like swirl around the product. And I think it could be really cool. I've actually seen a couple TikToks that use this method. So I'm kind of excited to try it out. The plan is for me to kind of take a self portrait but using kind of long exposure as a way to add a lot of kind of extra details. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hold this light that I'm holding and then I have this, which is an old Canon SL1 on a light stand. So when I use this camera to take a long exposure photo, I'm gonna have like a 10 second exposure. It's gonna be open so I can use this to kind of draw stuff and make a bunch of lines. And then I'll have this set up with a flash. I will be kind of like frozen in time with the flash and it'll create a cool photo. I, I know I'm probably doing a terrible job of explaining it, but hopefully as I kind of set this up and do it, you guys will kind of understand what I'm going for. Okay, so it's currently 7.22 and I've just spent 15 minutes setting up this black seamless. I think I've got it to where I want it now. My idea is to maybe start off with like a drink, like a beer or like a some sort of bottled drink that I can place here, kind of shoot upwards, get a nice wide shot and then have some like light swirls swirling around the drink and hopefully that'll look pretty cool. So I'm gonna gra go grab those and then we'll kind of get started shooting. As you probably can't tell, I've made it to the path. It is pitch black in here. I'm gonna go walk down the path, check it out, see if it's possible. If not, we're gonna call it there and move on. So I finally set up the cameras. I have the Sony right there. I have 
the cannon set up there, which is just my flash. And that is how it's done. It's a lot of pressing buttons and jumping around. You probably didn't actually see at all what I was doing. Okay, so I've got the drink here. I've also got some clear packing tape because my idea is that if I take a piece of this clear packing tape, I can then put it onto the back of my phone flashlight and color it with a Sharpie and I can get some colored lights that kind of swirl around, adding a bit of intrigue or interest. I've got the drink there. I've also set up another light there as kind of like an accent rim light. Okay, this is a first for me in a challenge, uh, not having a clear idea of what I wanna do, and I really don't like it. Normally I come in here with an exact idea, but I just thought today I'd come out here and see if inspiration would strike me, and it turns out it actually did. That B-roll shot there on the new A7 looked so good of me looking around the trees with this light that I'm just gonna try and take a few long exposures of that exactly. Let's see, that looks awful. That is truly horrendous, wow. Okay, so I've been filming for a little bit. The photos are turning out all right. It is a lot of just press the button and kind of pray if you get the shot. So I've probably ran back and forth between the camera and where I'm standing like 50 times. And I look stupid because I'm just like dancing around with a light, just trying to get some light trails. It's also a huge challenge because since I'm recording a long exposure on the Sony and then trying to use this as kind of my flash, I kind of need to sync it up and time it. So I press the Canon with a self timer for 10 seconds, wait four seconds, then I press the Sony, then I run out there, do all my kind of light painting, and then I get in position to take the photo. And then hopefully if I, if I hit the buttons correctly, they'll all just kind of line up and everything will go off at once. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And that's how you do it. Just gotta do that like a hundred more times. It is like 7.35 now. I have finally kind of come to the uh, final evolution of my shooting setup. I've got a big light in behind me here. I made this really janky kind of spotlight with a, a cardboard taped around a miniature light panel in there that is shooting down on this drink that is sitting right here on the black seamless. Okay, so before we begin taking photos, I need to kind of make the colored light with the back of my phone here. When I turn this thing on, I'll have a red light, look at that. Okay, let's get shooting. The first shots weren't very impressive. The biggest reason is the background kind of sucks. Even though it's a nice forest, it's got patches of snow on this muddy path, and it's just not coming together how I thought it would, and it looks nothing like that B-roll shot I got earlier. The best plan for me would be to pack up and head to a lookout where I have a nice view of the city, and hopefully just get some easy shots there. This is not going well at all. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, two. Stunned myself. Okay, so it's actually looking really good. Um, I think I'm gonna just take a few more photos, and then I have one more kind of idea I want, kind of the same style but different kind of composition. Man, this is gonna be so good. Wow, that was my first attempt. So the other trick that I've got on my sleeve is to grab a little spray bottle here. I'm gonna give this a light little misting of water because then it'll kind of have that those, those droplets all over it as if it's like just came out of the fridge and it's like sweating. It'd be perfect for this product photography. Ah, no! I just broke my light. 
So I was hiking up this path for a while, trying to find a nice lookout over the city, but I found something else instead. It's a like perfect forest clearing, completely covered with snow, which was my issue at the last spot. And if you look around, it's a nice foggy night. So I thought that could play up really well into the photo by having this big light be behind me and then I'm kind of silhouetted. All right, I'm gonna put this right right there in the snow and then I'll stand right over here and should have a nice kind of silhouette. The look will be something like this. I think it's gonna look dope. You can already see all the fog being lit up behind me. Now I'm just gonna hike down the hill a bit and set up this camera pointing back up that way. Okay, so I've set up a new composition with the camera down here. This is more of like a, a product type shot instead of having me as the subject. So yeah, I'm gonna move this down here and we're gonna get shooting because I don't have a lot of time. I have like half an hour to get this shot and then I gotta get back to the starting point. I think what I'm gonna do next is find another product, maybe some shoes, like some runners or something would be kind of cool and do the same thing, port or product photography with the light streaks around it. So I've managed to find some new runners. Uh, these are not mine, these are actually my mother's. Thank you, mom. Um, it is currently 8.32, so I have about 28 minutes to get the photo of these and then get back to the park to meet the other guys. So I have to get cracking because I don't have much time. A little update, the camera is fully set up. I've decided on a shutter speed of about two seconds, which should make the fog look very flowy and smooth. I don't know if you can see, but the light we set up is just on the hill there. So it is time to get our first shots. Okay, so just took a photo. First photo looks incredible. It looks insane. Seven. So I've set up my shoe. I actually put some wire in the shoelaces of the shoe to get them to get this cool like actual physical pattern with the laces. And then I've just suspended the shoe by some fishing line on this apparatus here. Got the camera set up here. Gonna take some photos and then I, uh, I have to run. So I'm gonna be nice and quick with this. Let's go. I'm gonna check the shot now. It's kind of annoying. I have to keep running up and down the hill because I don't know how to set the intervalometer on this camera yet. Uh, but that's okay, getting a little cardio in. Oh my god! Okay, I'm not, I'm not even exaggerating guys, this might be one of the best photos I've ever taken. I'm gonna get one more, the exact same thing, just zoom it into 70 millimeters, and, uh, and maybe hit a different pose. Gotta get my, uh, modeling skills on here. This has been a huge success. I did not think that these photos were gonna turn out as good as they did but I was pleasantly surprised. With that being said, I need to hurry up and get back to where the guys are, and I'm very much looking forward to getting out of the snow and the cold. Let's go. It's like a winter wonderland out here. Oh my God. As I was packing up, I totally forgot I left my bag wide open and it just started dumping snow. Look at that, there's like a good almost inch of snow in my bag. Okay, so it is 8.56, I have four minutes to make it back. I think I've got my final shot. They're looking really, really good. I'm so excited to see them on the computer. And uh, I have to run, so I will see you guys back at the park, and hopefully we win this battle. Oh, there it is. I made it. I have about five minutes to get down the hill. I just rolled into the meeting spot and Mitchell 
is right here. He rolled up yeah. right behind me. Hopefully Tommy gets back in time so he's not disqualified. Right on time, 8.59. Good work, Tommy. Very punctual. You're the last one, you oh, barely boy. made it. I scraped by on this one. It was a disaster, but I pulled through in the end, so. Yeah, how, how, how are the photos? Well, I my initial idea sucked, and yeah. I, I got a little bit sad, and I thought I, I wasn't gonna have a chance to win this one, but uh, I just miraculously pulled out an absolute heater, so I think we're good to go. Really, yeah. one or? Oh, I got two, I got okay. two, okay. <laughs> I got two. I got, like, mine are like, so good, I would put money on it that I win this one. Really? I don't oh. know about that, Mitch. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I, got, I got some pretty good ones myself. But uh, I'm very satisfied with how mine turned this out. This is rare that all three of us feel confident in our photos. I thought I was going to be the sucker on this one, but I don't think so. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, and with that being said, I think we're going to go back, edit our photos, and we'll see you guys when we're about to reveal what they look like. It is the next day. We're back in the office, and uh, everyone's edited all their photos and it's time to do a reveal. So who wants to go first? <laughs> oh, I think I lost that one. Yeah, there you go. Okay, we'll get yes. Steven up first here. I'm just gonna preface this by saying, I mean, this probably sounds like a really cowardly thing to say, but <laughs> of course, excuses. I, yeah, I put them on the computer. Didn't look as good as I thought they did, but um, I think they still turned out pretty good. All so, right, okay. all right. Three, two, one, go. Oh, oh ooh, yeah, that's neat. Yeah, and, uh, it's all in camera. Wow, I did no photoshopping. Yeah, that's so, wow. Wow. that's really cool. That yeah. Is, yeah, so and then I also did the same sort of technique for this one, which is my next photo, which is that ooh. one here. Ooh, yeah, that's so this really is like good. this would be really good for product photography because yeah. it's like super stylistic. That's but, uh, sick. Uh, Strong wow, way to go. Way to go. Okay, who wants to go next? It sounds like you're hyped. I okay, don't, I don't mind going, but. No, I'll go. Really? Oh yeah, I'll go. So, my, I'm very pleased with how mine turned out. Mine are kind of similar to what you did. Oh, interesting. Mm. Kind of. Okay, this is my first one. Whoa! Ooh, oh, that's shit. good. Shit, whose shoes are those? Those are mom's shoes. <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> Whoa, how'd you make the laces float? So what I did is I stuck a piece of wire in the laces, threaded ah. it all the way through, and then I like I clone stamped out the tape, but I taped them in there so that I could bend them. And, and then this is my next one, which I think I actually like more. Is oh, a, whoa. I'm a product Ooh. photography. Whoa, <laughs> you guys went very nice. I know. That's wow, cool, so. strong uh, photo okay. from you. Okay, yes. cool. Okay, uh, pretty strong start from Stephen and Mitch. I went a completely different direction. Okay. Um, not related at all, but I'm extremely happy. It might be one of my favorite photos I've ever taken. That's Hello! Like, that's, really? That's all I'm gonna say. Ready? Wow. Three, cool. two, one. Here's the first one. Oh, shit! Oh, that's good. <laughs> and we lost. <laughs> no! That is sick. So it was wow. a, nice, a nice foggy forest, so it really illuminated the light behind me. This was like a last minute idea. I looked up into the snow and I was like. With the fog too? Oh, dang. Yeah. Okay, and wow. I, I couldn't find the intervalometer, so I had to keep sprinting up the hill like 20 times in the 10 seconds or less, which sucked. Oh, oh my gosh. So that's number one. Okay. And then number two, similar, just to zoomed in. Oh, that's not bad. That's that's, that's cool. sick. But I knew the other one was my A photo. Uh, dang it. Uh, I know. You guys are just so good. No, that one, I love, this one's really cool. Especially if you use the thank fog. You, like the fog you. makes it I know, so I was like, good. God bless. What the heck, every time. <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing is with this one, I didn't even have a plan going in. I've been thinking of this product photography idea for like months before. Really? <laughs> oh yeah, and I was like, oh, if we ever do a long exposure photography battle, this is the idea that I'm gonna do. Mm. And I'm like, easy, I've got my idea locked and loaded. I had to do barely any research before we started this. <laughs> Damn. And then I was like, yeah, I've got this in the bag. And I, I was taking the photos, I'm like, oh, these are looking so good, blah, 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 blah. And then you come out with this Meanwhile, my stuff. vlog, I'm like, this sucks. This is the worst. Ah, oh, that is <laughs> annoying. <laughs> we'll see. It it actually doesn't matter what we think. It all matters what you guys think. So we're going to take these photos, throw them onto Instagram on our story, and uh, have you guys vote which ones are your favorite. So if you haven't been following us on Instagram, make sure you go do that up there for next time so you can vote in the next photography battle. And uh, we'll see you guys in 24 hours when all the votes are in. Okay, this is it. It took me like an hour and a half to count all these votes, but I have finally done it. Oh my gosh. Oh dear. Let's reveal the winners. With a total of 2,310 votes. Oh, Holy cow, that's God. twice as many as what we had 
in our last battle. I think we had around a thousand in our last battle. Holy yeah. To start, I'm going to reveal third place, then first place, and then second place, obviously. So, the third place position of this photo battle oh. is myself with a grand, with the highest photo, highest voted photo I had was 166 votes. Wow. wow. Out of the 2,300, you yeah. had, and then my other photo got 52 votes. Wow. Yeah, you guys got a, so I sent Steven some love here. I loved his photo. And now is the moment everyone's been waiting for. I feel the sick. winner of this photo battle. Oh. Is Tommy. Yes. Ah, yeah. see, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Let's go. <laughs> Tommy had the biggest spread between both of his photos. One photo, which is the one everyone's probably thinking of, got 1,070 votes. <laughs> you got over half? You got over half the votes with one photo. And then the other photo got 96 votes. No. Whoa, really? <laughs> I, no. literally, I literally said it. I was like, this is my prime photo. The other one I'm just gonna chuck yeah. in. So oh, it see. got a tenth. That of literally just shows wow. that you can have one good photo and just sweep the whole thing. Okay. Oh my God. Bring it home. That's and then crazy. In second place was Mitchell. One hit one of his photos had 607 Ooh. votes. And then the next one had 390. Wow, I had pretty decent. Oh, you had so like the best average. I had the best yeah. average. Yeah, so between both of his photos, he was almost, he was only like almost just over hundred votes off of Tommy. Wow. So, yeah, it wasn't too okay. bad. What I'm gonna give Mitchell? myself a pat on the back for yeah, that one. Well yeah. <laughs> Thank Ooh. you everyone for participating. It was amazing to see that 2,300 of you guys voted. If you guys wanna vote again in the next photo battle, we'll have our Instagram up here. This is where we hold the contest. If you guys are watching this video within a few days of it going live, I wanna let you guys know that we are not posting any more videos for the rest of 2020. We wanna take this time to kind of recharge and relax and enjoy the holidays, and we'll see you guys in January. If you guys are new here, go down, comment, like, subscribe. It really helps us out. Thank you everyone so much for voting. We're excited to do this again, so hopefully more of you guys can vote and have a happy holidays. See you later. Note to self, don't leave your bag wide open during a snowstorm. <laughs>